Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of It Starts With Plastic Free. Today, wet wipes banned in England. Cora, can you believe that? I'm pumped, this is great reading. Well, great it's not reading. exactly, that's a bit broad, that comment out of the BBC article we saw, but it's yeah. hot off the topic. But we did have in episode two of It Starts With Plastic Free, the discussion about how the UK was taking a step forward in banning plastic wet wipes. And this looks like being a real concrete step further because the environment, the Therese Coffey, or Coffey, um, has actually been quoted as saying that it's now the heavy focus of the English government. Yeah, it's fantastic. Really good news. Um, as I always do, I'm just going to cover some stats, Phil. Love the stats. Go for it. <laughs> uh, why are they doing it in the UK? It's interesting. It, it, I see it's a lot more coverage in the UK around the issue of wet wipes causing fat bergs and, and blockages in the drains, whereas certainly plastic, the motivation here around reducing plastics is more seems to be more about the environment and yeah. carbon and the likes. Um, but a couple of stats over there. Wet wipes flush down toilets cause 93% of sewer blockages. Um, and cost hundred over a hundred million pounds a year, according to the Water UK. Ninety uh, percent of those of wipes in the UK contain plastic, mm. and they're the ones causing the blockages. The other, you know, and we have to remember as well, biodegradable wipes cause blockages as well. Well, we Just, say that, Stan. Yeah, yeah I correct. Mean, you, know, we, you don't flush that. We've got our plastic-free biodegradable wet wipes here, which we still say don't flush. But then we've got our flushable product, which is a different technology, which we showed previously, where yep. it breaks down in water. So I think that article, I'm, I'm not sure, the UK obviously have highlighted plastic wipes as the issue. But um, I loved that, I think you put it on one of your posts uh, late last year when I was away over Christmas, I saw it, that there's that logo in Europe where you actually have got to state if there's plastic in yes. the product. So there yeah, were wet wipes great. I was buying and you could see um, it could tell you whether it was plastic, it was a plastic wipe or not. Now, this is going to take it a step further because the mm. UK will ban plastic wipes, which is great. Yep. And we know Tesco and Boots have, have done that. Have already banned them. And yep. banned the plastic wipes, which is a step forward because it comes back to choice. If it's not on the shelf, the consumer will find the, the biodegradable, the flushable version, which is, is ideal. Yeah, absolutely. So going forward, Phil, this is a really positive yeah, move for Australia, well, as in it's a is it? reference. Is it? I mean, <laughs> well, well, it's why something, are the palms ahead of us on this? Well, because we're here so we are damn land, slow here. You know, we're surrounded yeah. by ocean, every right. city, and we've got well, bloody England taking the stance. As, as, yeah, we, Phil and I have done a little bit of work out there to try and make the uh, the various environmental industry associations and polys aware of this problem of wet wipes in Australia. Uh, there is it, The statistics say they're almost as big as coffee cups in terms of And it's a single use plastic. Waste. That it's a single just... use avoidable plastic. But what this shows is that it is a single use avoidable plastic. Uh, so it is possible to ban it, which is fantastic. So hopefully here we start to see the same sort of path. So I'm the forever optimist. So what is the positive step for what is the positive for Australia then out of this? Well, I just think we can now when we do talk to uh, um, people in the government level, I, I think we can say, hey, this is now what the UK are doing. Mm. And when you are talking to a poly or an association in this space, you can say, hey, these are the changes the UK is making. Why can't we do the same thing? It's 30 times more than straws. Why do you and care that, about straws? And I was just about to say that. I know when the whole plastic straws came to light, you know, I think we all sort of voted with our credit cards and yep. we, we refused to sort of take a drink with a straw in it, a plastic mm. straw in it, until we got um, what we wanted. And it just forced the retailer or the service provider, cafe or coffee shop, whatever it is, to give you those straws that were paper-based. Yep. So it is doable. It's definitely doable. But we've got to do it, and execution is key. So, if you have anyone that's listening out there, or you've got connections with anyone that you can reinforce this point, we have the ability to prevent plastic in wipes and plastic single-use, avoid as you say, avoidable single-use plastics yeah. out in the market every day. Let's take some steps forward, and dare I say it, we might have to follow the UK. We will until the next episode. We might have to talk with the Cockney accent next time. All right, we'll see you then. <laughs>